Hmm. Well... When boarding the Aerotram, please have your authentication card ready and follow the instructions. The arrow trams are inoperable. Use the bridge to cross into the artisanal district. Evacuate into the church for the time being. Bracers will be there in roughly 10 minutes. The telescope's nowhere to be seen now. That's the main terminal, then? That's right. It's also known as the Aurora, and it's the pride of Basel. Professors Hamilton and Callahan led the charge in making it four years ago with the Institute, Verne, the Epstein Foundation, and ZCF support. But what program is it running? I can't make heads or tails of such complex code. Uh, look up there! The fifth Genesis. Figures we'd find it here, along with... I suspected you would come, Arkwright Solutions. 
Oh, that we would meet again so soon after the film festival. It must be Adios' will bringing us together. The threads of fate bind us ever so strongly indeed. <laughs> Can't say I'm not a fan of that kind of thing. The monsters from the gardens who stole Ida from us! Oh, you learned the name of my old home, did you? And I see that Marduk concierge has officially joined your ranks. Professor Hamilton's favorite little one, too. Aren't we getting popular? <laughs> this kid's just with us as an advisor. So you're the ones who led Professor Callahan astray. What are you trying to do with the Aurora? You have no right to be using it. Oh, how misunderstood I am. I'll have you know that the professor and I had quite a special connection. In fact, he gave us permission to use it. And since he was one of the developers, I think that does give us the right. This was very different from the relationship I had with President Dillon, by the way. It was more one of mutual benefit. Though I'll admit that certain inclinations of his did make my job a lot easier. A sensual whisper here, a little buttering up there, and he was more than ready to break every taboo I ever wanted. <gasps> How could you exploit someone so? It's not our place to judge what turns someone on. That stuff's personal. But you're still a piece of shit with a parking spot reserved in Gehenna. Right, and we'll be happy to give you a taste of the flames that await you right here. We're going to recover that Genesis and avenge those you've taken from this world. <laughs> Look at me, public enemy number one. Think you could lend me a shoulder to cry on, Olympia? You are only reaping what you sowed. Of course, the terms of my contract also do not allow me to simply give you all what you want. That angelic being we saw in Tharbad! Theo! Scanning material makeup. Unknown. High probability that the target is a form of artifact. Thought so. It's about the only thing that explains how it can fight like it does. There's more to it than meets the eye, too. Indeed. Take care, everyone. Your instincts serve you well. Incidentally, as I did not have the opportunity to introduce myself in Tharbad. I am Olympia, overseer of the Garden of Aram. This is Ishtanti. Our contract is with Almada at this time, so we remain focused on their needs. But should you require our services after that, we would be happy to oblige. You're asking if we want to hire an assassin? This some kind of joke? Or are you really out of your damn mind? Hmm? I was only trying to promote my services. It's true. She's not capable of joking, I'm afraid. As you can see, she's got work on the brain. Well, I think that's enough preamble. Been a good while, you know since I tapped into my power as an overseer. <clears throat> They're auras! So, of course they've been suppressing their power all this time. We'll need to use shards however we can to survive. Do whatever it takes to hold out. I can barely keep up with what's happening. But let's do this! Theo! Zeros! We can't allow these intruders to defile this sacred place a moment longer! Understood! <laughs> uh, is everyone alright? But Malak is even more deadly than we thought. <sighs> Pisses me off. You haven't been taking us seriously all this time, have you? <laughs> Oh, I showed Beauty's Blade a little of what I'm capable of. Just not you. Your strength is within my predicted parameters. 
including those orbital drones. As if that doll wasn't bad enough. Now we've got those bomb artifacts to deal with too. The Garden's overseers are capable of even more than we feared it would seem. <sighs> if only I could make better use of Theo and Zeros' potential. <laughs> You're just so much fun to play with that you've got me all worked up. <laughs> I don't think I can resist the urge anymore. I know they've got the boss curious, but surely there's no harm in slicing them open while he's not looking. I am not your boss and will not speak for him. Do as you please. <laughs> Bring it, you son of a bitch! The flames of the Kruga have only just begun to burn! What? <laughs> Decoding process complete. Executing emergence program. Where am I? I see. So it was a success. Uh, that sounds like... Well, would you look at that? It worked! So, how does it feel, Professor? What's it like living in the digital world? It's even more comfortable than I had imagined. I'm frankly surprised by how comfortable it is. But I suppose it also makes complete logical sense. This is how it feels to be liberated of burdens and distractions. I can think more clearly than ever. The final stage of my work will be a breeze like this. Your expectations will be met. Oh, that's my big professor. You will be handsomely rewarded for your work. <sighs> A recording? No, wait. You are correct, young lady. This is no mere recording. I am the genuine David Callahan, Professor of Engineering Science at the Basel Institute of Science and a researcher whose name will go down in history. How the hell is this even possible? W we saw your body in the swamp! No way. Don't tell me. His knowledge, personality, and memories have all been converted into an AI. Most likely through the power of the Genesis. Also that he could surpass the limitations of the human mind and become a singularity. <sighs> Professor Callahan, how could... Well, well, you're even more perceptive than I expected. What a vexation. Every time, Melchior, our work here is done. We have no reason to stay any longer. Fine, fine. I suppose you're right. We'll see you later, Professor. Very good, then. I will be waiting for you. Warning! Explosives detected! That little bastard! The Aurora! Zeros! Use your stun mode to stop- Ah! Uh -uh. No you don't! <laughs> no! Ah! Katra! You can't! Get back here! I won't let it happen. I won't let anyone damage the place she holds so dear!
Shit! Damn it! <gasps> what? <sighs> there it is! I thought something was off about you, but I never figured it ran that deep. I wonder if this is what came out of analyzing that other emperor and the rest of those types. I will need to revise my expectations of Marduk's capabilities. Ugh, and speak of the devil. I suppose it's time we made our exit then, hmm? As someone connected to another being, not of flesh, you have my respect. Till we meet again. No way. R Reset. This is... This is all my fault. You gonna be okay? Yes. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> 